If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to Downfall Network for more cool content. What's up everyone, Thralls Metal here once again. I'm Nick Crocknick. And I'm Jammin' John. And we have an album review for you. So today we're finally reviewing another full length. We've been reviewing a lot of EPs here yes. lately. But we got a full length for you with Althar's new album, Providence. This comes out on the 12th of June on 20 bucks spin. This is the band's second album. They are from Oakland, California, formed in 2014, and have current and former members from Mutilation Rights, Vastum, and Tunes. Now, we actually saw these guys last year. They opened up for Nails, Misery Index, and Outer Heaven when we were in uh, Detroit, the shelter. Yep, yep. Yeah, and we were definitely interested in their sound. They are a weird mix of like cavernous death metal and very dissonant black metal, so the overall sound is, well, cavernous and dissonant. It, it, it's, it's wild. Creepy. And it, it, like the whole record just has grime all over it. These guys definitely also know a lot about atmosphere too because the atmosphere on here is, again, creepy and mm -hmm. grimy. And you kind of get a little bit of that in the first track, Churn. Churn is probably the most straightforward track on here. And these guys pretty much don't really get into a lot of contemporary song structure. They like going kind of all over the place and wherever the song takes them, it's almost kind of like a stream of consciousness style. Yeah, almost. <laughs> it's almost like they just let, like they turn on the amps and they're just like, okay, gong, and then... What sounds creepy? That's that. Let's do right. that. But this song wastes no time. Blast beats, tremolo riffs. It comes out swinging. Hits you right away. Kind of has a fast, thrashy, upbeat section that comes in there too. Really straight ahead on this song. And then when you get into later songs, you start noticing that these guys are kind of all over the place. Like we're saying, Undying Spear, cool Spanish guitar intro, acoustic. Almost over like a, like a monk chant yeah. or something. Again, creepy atmosphere, but this is probably one of the most pleasant melodies on here. Not that there aren't melodies on here, they're just unpleasant melodies. They're all about <laughs> that creepy atmosphere. And as soon as that part ends, you get into just a straight up death metal opening that is very mm -hmm. just ugly sounding. But then it changes gears immediately right into black metal and it sounds like pretty much if Marduk wrote an album but with Incantations production. Okay, I'll yeah. allow that. <laughs> like, wait, like, look, we, we talked about it we and we still aren't 100%. It sounds like something. Yep. Uh, we, we thought of whatever wild dissonant stuff that we've reviewed or listened to like in terms of like the riff structure it is really all over the place like yeah i thought of comparing it to demolich but that still doesn't quite work and incantation is close two mold two molds close um but two mold is still a little bit more riffy even like it has behemoth moments yeah. in it too but it it never latches on to one thing long enough to be able to really nail that down as soon as you're woozy from the first punch it's already hit you three or four more times and you're just kind of absorbing this all at once on this song on dying spear i also picked up like notes of dissection because a lot of times when they get into more blackened territory it is definitely very melodic it mm -hmm. isn't always mm -hmm. caustic it's very distant but it's very melodic and it, when it comes down to melodic oh well, they love metal. that tremolo yeah so oh. i mean you know. That's one thing you got to get used to on this is the tremolo is dominant. This doesn't get chuggy all the time. It does have distinct moments mm -hmm. that are really, mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, it's tremolo, but it's different tremolo. Like sometimes you get one that is definitely 100% more like a morbid angel sort of yep. tremolo, like a deep chug, but then you get more atmospheric tremolo, like more black metal bands. But a really interesting thing in here is the different styles of dissonance like how it's applied to the moments that are more black metal and how they're applied to more of the death metal moments and the title track actually shows off a lot of that mm -hmm. and it's really cool with the contrast and vocals too since you have two vocalists one has that very low two mold sort of growl and the other guy has a blackened shriek and the contrast is really cool i think that is one of the cool parts about this album is how they use that Sometimes you'll have the death metal roars over a blackened section versus having the black metal scream, mm -hmm. and they'll flip that around. But most of the time, the vocals appropriately match whatever crazy shit they're getting into at that moment. Yeah, yep, yeah. and that's a nice touch too. Also, the the melodies on Providence, at least to me, reminded me of early Mastodon. 
There like is really early some Mastodon because they even used that same dissonance that they have. There were a couple on, of like moments. Mother Puncher. Yeah, there were a couple yep. of moments in here I compared to Sludge Metal as well because when they get down and dirty into these grimy, slower sections, mm -hmm. it screams more like Sludge Metal than it does like Death Doom or something yep. like that. Yep. A uh, track I really liked was called Through Downward Dynasties. First of all, the intro on this again just reminds me of like a horror movie yes just straight uh, sci-fi horror because it sounds like it sounds like a, a big piano being played in a giant like open sunroom or something like someone fell asleep on a church organ but yep. it's all the low keys <laughs> but, but then but then a, a robot gargles nails <laughs> and then when the vocals kick in it sounds like he's zipped up one of his testicles in his shorts robot testicles <laughs> that's a thing yep. Yep, that's what it sounds like. Something. I really enjoyed this song, and this intro and the uh, follow-up track, Cudgel, also has a really cool intro, too. These guys, again, know how to build a creepy, kind of ugly atmosphere, and these two songs especially. Mm -hmm. But I liked some of the weird, more off-time moments in through Downward Dynasties, and this has one of the craziest breakdowns on the entire album with that weird crawling riff. Yes. That kind of just, like, just across this <laughs> really sludgy breakdown. And honestly, it really made that breakdown stand out. Like, mm -hmm. I really liked it. And there's also a lot of crawling guitar throughout there. Like, it kind of just reminds me of stuff you'd hear, like Cannibal Corpse. Kind of like Strip Raped and Strangled. You know that little, you know, that, that thing. Yep. I can't yep. do it. Just without the beef. Um, yeah. Yeah. Or just more dirt. It's just more dirt and grit covered on it. I gotta say, the way they opened up Cudgel was pretty cool with the very creepy atmosphere, once again, with that cool little intro. But then it's a single note hit as hard as possible. The bass, guitar, drums, and then right into just the sort of buzzsaw, tremolo, mm -hmm. nuttery. There's some stuff in here that really reminded me a lot of Carcass, Circa Necroticism, like songs like Symposium yeah. of Sickness, where the weird tremolos were just strange it was 100 percent uniquely them and i think this is kind of the idea behind this album like they wanted to throw in a lot of stuff that was very much them it, it's really all over the place though. it is although this song the uh, cudgel at least it seems to be more straightforward yeah like after three songs of chaos they had something that was just like all right okay here now here's death metal yeah <laughs> And that was definitely one, and the last track definitely favored Death Metal too. but sometimes you get like sort of a mix of the two, like kind of like a homogenized Black mm -hmm. and Death. Sometimes you get separate sections where Death Metal is pretty much the big thing, and then a Black Metal bridge, or if you can call it a bridge, like just a section that doesn't repeat, and then, you know, it's all over the place. In like uh, Furnace Hibernation, like there's straight doom riffs in there. Yes. Um, Actually, it reminded me a lot of Gate Creeper at yeah. times. I mean, you know, that it does have those sludgy breakdowns yeah. and everything. Now, a thing on here that was sort of a prevailing thing for me that was kind of difficult to get into is sometimes the transitions are very knee jerk and come out of nowhere and weird off time fills. Yeah. Uh, so you go into like a weird off time section and then it has this weird transition and then it's followed again by another weird off time thing that don't necessarily match with each other like a series of non sequiturs it's just odd but i like the fact that they took such an interesting songwriting approach mm -hmm. and i think this is definitely better than their first album i thought cosmovore was good i think this one favors a bit more death metal and there's a little bit more distinct riffy moments on here but i mean overall this is just this is a challenging listen. It really is, but it's a good challenging listen where you want to go back to it and listen to it and keep trying to like figure I'm out I'm really going to figure out who this sounds like. It's yeah. going to click after we make this video, <laughs> after it makes no fucking sense. I'm going to wake up one day next week at like 3 a.m. and be like, oh, who's that band? And they gonna, sound like blah, blah, blah. And no one cares anymore. Great. He's going to text me and wake me up and be like, dude, why? <laughs> at least I'll know. But overall, I'm going to give this three and a half stars. I enjoyed this listen. As abrasive as it is, there are some really cool signature moments in here. And the guitar work is wild. These guys are definitely fiercely talented, and there's a lot of stuff they want to squeeze in. That's... Sometimes less is more, though. But I really liked the bulk of this album, mm -hmm. and it's just a flat-out creepy listen. So if you're looking for something like that, definitely check it out. Yeah. I'm also going to give it three and a half. Now, I'll admit it took me a minute to get 
into it. Yeah. Like, it wasn't probably until, uh, <laughs> wasn't probably until, like, Providence or, or through Downward Dynasties that I was really on board because it's so all over the place. I don't really know if I like the KS as much as I like the more straightforward stuff. But, I mean, even so, even the more straightforward stuff isn't really straightforward. So No. Again, a very challenging listen and a definite good time. I, I want to hear it on a different set of speakers for sure. So that's that. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe because we do stuff like this all the time. And we're on Instagram. <laughs> and we're on Instagram. And if you are in an Got unsigned him. band or something really on the underground and you're having trouble getting out there, if you shoot me a line on Instagram, I'll uh, you know make it through your stuff and throw you on an episode of What's John Jamming. So uh, it's a good way to get out there. And plus you get to come hang out with us on Instagram and watch us post all sorts of screwed up things. Because, yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a good time. Yep. All right, you guys, thank you for watching, and we will catch you later. Take care.